Hey everyone, welcome to Wands and Wanderlust. My name is Alejandra and this is where I share what keeps life magical. I hope that you are all staying safe at home right now and just doing things that you enjoy and things that bring you happiness. Today we're going to unbox Ron's Patronus Funko Pop vinyl figure. This is a Wizarding World pre-release exclusive that was only available on the Wizarding World online shop in limited supply, so this is officially sold out. But don't worry, there's another way that you can get your hands on some version of this pop, and also the Harry and Hermione pops. So before we get into the unboxing, I'm going to show you something that I didn't show you in the other videos, and I either didn't show you because I didn't even register this, or because they added it in later. I honestly don't know. If you know the answer, let me know, because sometimes I get so excited about the actual unboxing that I don't pay attention to what else is in the box. The box that the Funko Pop is in came wrapped in this tissue paper. Hey, I'm coming in a little closer. So if you can see on there, it has the different wands for different characters and it says the name on it, which I thought was really cool. So basically it has a lot of the Fantastic Beasts character wands on here. Um, Letta Lestrange, Nicholas Flamel, Queenie Goldstein. Put these details there for you guys so that you can see them. But this tissue paper was just so cool. Just the really cool detail of the wands and the, it has the names on there and I'm probably going to keep one of these for myself too just because it's super cool and I'm I'm into it. So just like Harry and Hermione's Patronus Pops, this is packaged in a window box and it has the pre-release exclusive sticker. There is also an enchanted key on the back which you can scan in the Wizarding World app for extra Harry Potter content. I will be scanning that and sharing all that content with you guys as well. Okay, so I'm going to be unboxing this now for the very first time, and that has taken some self-restraint for me to not open this since May. I put it in another room. Here we go. Oh yeah. He's so cute. I mean, Patronuses that are dogs, come on. Like, Look how cute he is. I really, really like this pop. It's probably my favorite out of the three just because I really love dogs and I feel like this would be my Patronus. This one actually does not come with a stand, so let's see what he looks like. Cool. So I put him in between Harry and Hermione because I feel like that's where Ron kind of belongs. This is the full set and I really think this is such a beautiful scene. I'm going to see if I have other things to add to it. Um, the two Patronuses that don't technically belong here are Ron's and Hermione's because they, they don't um, cast their corporeal Patronuses until book five I believe. So I still think it's really cool to have them on the same shelf just because it's it's a vibe. It's a vibe and these three belong together and this book three is really where we first learn about Patronuses so I feel like this all ties in together really beautifully. I really love that he stands up on his own and balances on his own because you can see that out of all of the pops um, that are the Patronus pops, he has the most waves of light and so that is really what's being used to stabilize him and that way he can just sit on his own. You don't need anything else in order to have him placed anywhere which I think is really nice. He's just a whole piece on his own. He just looks so magical and sweet and what a cute little dog. The same way that Hermione's um, Patronus the little otter has all of these details with like for like indentions, he has those two. Um, not really seeing any imperfections on him. Oh, there's a little bubble there. But as we've learned, these um, these pops really vary, um, and they'll have like minor imperfections, but that's totally normal. 
and there's not really anything on here that I would freak out about. I think, oh my goodness, the more I look at it, the more that I'm falling in love with it. And this was already my favorite one just because it's a dog and dog are my, dogs are my favorite animals. But the way that he's prancing, it's just, look at that happy tail. Oh, he's so cute. I'm totally geeking out on this. Guys, this is my favorite Patronus pop out of the three. He's just super adorable. There's a lot of detail back here too, which is really nice. Um, it's just like a whole piece together. You know, there's more light coming in here and oh, he's just so great. Okay, so I'm coming in a little bit closer again, guys. I'm noticing my makeup is like really weird underneath my eyes. I didn't do, oh, that looks like I did. Wow, hot mess. You don't go anywhere for four months and this is what happens, guys. Still not seeing many imperfections. Nothing that would make me want to return him and ask for an exchange or anything like that, which, you know, it's a little bit tricky with these um, pops in particular, the pre-release exclusives. Um, they're a little bit more strict on the um, returns and exchange policies and stuff so I think there would have to be something really wrong with it for them to replace it but um, there I don't know if you can see there's like little specks of glitter on him kind of at the top but you know fabulous okay so it's time to scan the enchanted key on the back of the box so the way that you do that is you hit this globe icon at the bottom and then you hit the key in the top right corner and you just scan it and it's unlocking it right now. Okay, so we've seen this screen before, so we'll tap for more. Oh, and it took me right to the new stuff. Okay, so seven times Ron's personality matched his Patronus. Ron's Patronus is a Jack Russell Terrier. Here's why we think this particular four-legged friend makes perfect sense for the youngest Weasley brother. So let's see how long this is. Not super long. Okay, let's read the bullet points and then we'll move on from there. This is also on the Wizarding World website. I will link it in the description. Number one, Ron really loves food. Number two, Ron is loyal at heart. Number three, Ron loves the limelight. Number four, Ron enjoys making a bit of mischief. Number five, Ron is always up for a game. Number six, Ron has a tendency to be stubborn. Number seven, Ron is brave, not fearless. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so I'm going to spend some time reading this on my own. Um, but like I said, I will go ahead and put this in the description box. All right, let's see what else is on here. This is Hermione's. Match the Patronus to the caster quiz. Yeah, I haven't done this one yet. Think you know your Basset Hounds from your foxes? Find out by matching these Patronuses to their caster. Take the quiz. Whose Patronus is a goat? rut -row. <laughs> I feel a little ill-prepared for this. Oh, I think it's Amberforth, actually. Nice! Those were snaps for myself, guys. That's like my new thing. Whose Patronus is a swan? I think it's Cho Chang. Yup. Whose Patronus is a fox? Hmm. Wait till we see the names. Let's try Ginny. Nope. Shame is again. That's pretty obscure. Did not remember that. Whose Patronus is a cat? Professor McGonagall has to be. I mean, come on. Whose Patronus is a horse? Me. <laughs> Neville Longbottom, Jenny Weasley, Fred Weasley, Lavender Brown. Jenny? Yes! Four out of five! All right. Leaderboard. Nice job, Hufflepuff! Way to go! That was a fun quiz. I really liked that one. <laughs> the reason that I said that the horse one is mine is because when I did take the What's Your Patronus quiz on the Wizarding World website when it used to be Pottermore. Actually, no, it, it, I think I've taken it twice and both times I got um, a white mare. So that's what my Patronus is according to wizardingworld.com. Um, but I think that mine would be like Ron's and it would be a dog. 
All right, let's move on. This quote is from Hermione's Pop, and it's actually taken out of this article, which we shared in the other, um, in Hermione's video. This is also from Harry's. That's from Harry's. Okay, poll. This is new. If you could choose your own Patronus, which would you pick? Otter, Stag, or Jack Russell? Oh, cute. I would pick the Jack Russell. The overall vote for all of the Hogwarts houses is the Otter, and 24% said Jack Russell, which is kind of funny because um, maybe people take that for granted because we can't have dogs as pets, so... Um, but that's the exact reason why I would choose um, a dog as my Patronus because I know that they are so loving and protecting. And then, so the majority in Gryffindor is the Otter. The majority in Hufflepuff is also the Otter. Also in Ravenclaw. Wait, yes. And then in Slytherin, it's also the Otter. Wow, everyone. Okay. Wow, I really like this poll at the end. And surprisingly, there's only 245 votes on this. That is very surprising to me. It makes me wonder if the limited supply of these pops was really low or if people didn't bother to fill out the quiz or if, or like the poll, excuse me, or if they didn't scan their key. I don't know. Interesting. And that wraps up the keys. So it looks like this poll is the last thing that you fill out and that's some pretty neat information. Um, it's it's kind of nice because on the other end, thinking in a marketing brain, they get some of that feedback um, and maybe that'll feed uh, some ideas for their content or you know future pops. Um, the Otter Pop was really adorable, um, but I think for me, the Jack Russell Pop is just my favorite because again it's just such a cute little dog and it actually looks like my dog doe maybe i'll show you guys a picture on here so you guys can see um so this is this opening screen on all of the enchanted keys for some reason it only says funko pop otter and stag even though i scanned um the jack russell terrier pop as well but i have all of the exclusive content on here and yeah, this is really cool. I think this is a really fun way to revisit the Wizarding World. And now I have all of this content in here whenever I want to look at it again or have one of my friends take it. If you want to get your hands on these Patronus Funko Pops, they are now available on Barnes & Noble's website. You'll see them listed as first to market. It sounds like Barnes & Noble is the first company to be able to sell these pops after Wizarding World sold out of their limited supply pre-release exclusives. The Patronus Funko Pops available at Barnes & Noble are about $10 each, whereas the pre-release versions were about $15 each. Note that it is only the pre-release exclusives that will have the sticker and the enchanted key. That's what makes the pre-releases extra special. I had a hunch about this, but I made sure to go into Barnes & Noble while wearing a mask, while being safe, and check out to see if they had them in store. And yeah, I was able to confirm that they don't have the sticker, they don't have the enchanted key, but not to worry if you get your hands on these Funko Pops that don't have the enchanted key. You are missing out on some exclusive content, but there is also exclusive content that was included in the key, but is also now available on the Wizarding World website. I've made sure to share those links that are available on the Wizarding World website on each Funko Pop video accordingly. So this wraps up the Patronus Funko Pop set and I'm so happy that I have all three of them because it's so comforting to know that the Golden Trio has my back. Thanks so much for watching this video. I've had so much fun unboxing all three of these Funko Pops. The Enchanted Key is what has made the big difference between the pre-release exclusives and then getting the Funko Pop pretty much anywhere else. And if you've watched my other videos that complete this set of the Wizarding World pre-release exclusive of these three adorable Funko Pops, I really appreciate that as well. Um, the thing that I 
loved the most besides the actual Funko Pops themselves was the enchanted key that gave us even more Harry Potter content. And it's something that I really needed um, during this time as well, just immersing myself in a familiar world that has always brought me peace. And those extra pieces of content were super cool. So if you have any more questions about this pop, feel free to drop me a comment. I'm going to put some links in the description that have more information about this pop, have more information about the pre-release exclusives, just anything that's gonna kind of help answer any questions that I haven't answered in the past three videos. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set, about Ron's Patronus, Hermione's Harry's, like, do you love these? Did you like the exclusive content? Um, which one's your favorite?